Good morning, guys. Welcome to Butte Mountain Homestead. I'm just getting the feeders topped off for the big girls. Got the little girls fed. I need to fill the fe fill the feed totes. I got all the stuff out there. Not sure where everything's gonna fit because <laughs> the uh, the big bag of feed fills the tote. So I don't know where the little girls' feed is gonna go, but we will figure it out. Anyways. And then I'm not doing anything to the coop right now, only because it's supposed to be over 100 for the next week. Good gravy. <laughs> so I'm so sick of it being over 100. We had a few nice days, but oh, I'm ready for it to be in the 80s and the 70s so I can get some projects done. But yep, so just getting, I need to get their outdoor uh, water filled. And then I'm going to work on some outside maintenance today. I want to get the... I'm not going to move any hollyhocks until it starts getting cloudy and nicer outside. So I'm just going to get things watered. I do want to take out the melon plants. I want to take out the that squash plant. So there's still a few honeydew. So I'm leaving the honeydew. I am going to take the cantaloupe. It's pretty much done. I'll just give the couple little ones to the, the chickens. But the honeydews, we've got one, two, three. We have four left. I think there might be one more in there. So I'm going to leave the honeydew for now. But yeah, I'm going to pull the cantaloupe. And then, excuse the shadow. I'm going to spray the soil with some neem oil. I'm going to work it in. And then spray it again and I may have to take some row cover or something and cover this so the chickens don't get in there um, I can't pull the peppers yet because the darn wasp and bees so I'm gonna have to wait until nighttime I guess because there's there's just no way I can pull those right now I'll get stung to death so um, yep so that beds being left I can't plant anything right now anyways because that I think is that bed and that bed are both going to be potatoes this year so um, I'm trying to think if I had anything in between now and potatoes hmm, I'll have to look uh, but the tomatoes will stay on till frost so the peppers what I'll do is I'll get those pulled and then I will um, spray neem oil on there and the reason why I'm doing that is to kill any pest eggs or pest in the soil that may be remaining in neem oil is organic um, and there's netting up there already so I don't have to worry about the chickens getting in there so and then because those have aphids on there I'm going to throw all of it away in the actual garbage in trash bags so none of it's going to go down to the brush pile because I don't want those aphids spreading to anything else same with this plant it's got some sort of disease the same will be with these um, greasy beans I've been harvesting them we had them for supper last night um, we'll have them for supper tomorrow night on our leftovers because tonight's our actual anniversary our wedding anniversary so we're gonna go to dinner but yeah there's a lot of beans coming on <laughs> So I think I'm going to be able to get a batch can. So right now what I have, I'm going to eat fresh. And then I think by the time all of these come on, I'll be able to uh, leave my tomato alone. I just caught you doing that, turd. <laughs> I tell you, the animals. Ugh. Um, oh, and I forgot to say, hold on just a second. I'm going to turn the camera around for this. Hold on. But real life here. <laughs> I knew I was going to get hot and bleh. So I wasn't going to put makeup or anything. But this is my two year anniversary. Actually it was yesterday. Um, I was off days. So that's why I didn't make this video yesterday. Um, I think my YouTube video is September 20. Or anniversary is September 24th. And that was yesterday. Today's the 25th. So anyways yeah two years. Um. Reflection wise, I don't think I would do anything or would have done anything differently other than really focusing on editing. <laughs> that's still, oh, that's still my downside. I'm, I'm hoping this winter I can get my camera going and 
get a good editing program downloaded onto the computer and kind of gear towards that. But in the meantime, I do have, you know, more subscribers than, you know, I thought. It's just a little old me. You know, Northern California, I'm not anything special, but I, I do know that I have some subscribers, you know, all over the world. I have some in um, England. I have, I think, one in Scotland. And then I have, I think, one in Greece, if I'm not mistaken. So anyways, that's, oh, in, um, in Ireland, if I didn't already say that. So that is so cool to me that, you know, my little channel is, I'm literally a little channel. <laughs> but so if you could, if you've made it this far, is that um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, tell your friends about it. And uh, yeah, my content is still the same. It's all things homestead, homesteading, taking care of the home. That includes gardening, landscaping, pulling weeds, uh, pest control, weed control in all forms. Um, unfortunately, sometimes you do have to get out the big guns. I really don't like to do it, but sometimes that's just what has to be done. I'm, I'm not of the camp to just let something go. Um, and then go buy something from the store that was probably sprayed anyways. So figured if last resort and it saves me from going to the store, then I will use a spray on vegetables. I like to use organic sprays on the flowers and such. If that needs the big, big guns, then that's just how it is. Um, I think I'm going to have to chalice up my tomatoes as I'm looking at them. But um, so, yeah, gardening, preserving, cooking from scratch. Um, it's not 100%, but like last night for dinner, we had uh, milk-fed pork chops from a local um, farm that has dairy, but they also raise pigs, so that was cool. Uh, made homemade mac and cheese with bacon. Oh my goodness sakes. Um, bacon was from a hog we had a couple years ago. I need to use that up. I'm also in a self-induced pantry challenge where we're eating from our pantry, fridge, freezers, everything I've canned, everything we have in the, all those areas um, with a minimal weekly budget for things like dairy, fruits and veggies we don't have. So um, there was some bacon in there that I needed to use up. So we had the pork chops, we had the mac and cheese with bacon, we had the greasy beans with that same bacon and our onions. And then I made homemade bread and half of the recipe I made rolls. So anyways, oh, and I made an apple cake for dessert. So last night's dinner was pretty, <laughs> pretty falling carb induced. I'm going to have to get back on the keto wagon. But so today I'm pulling squash plants and oh, where was I? Oh, sharing all the things, homesteading uh, during the winter. I do do thrifting because I do like buying things secondhand if possible. Um, to me, there's really no reason not to. Um, actually can find some really good deals but uh, I do thrift hauls I do decorating I do crafts um, I did a cottage core my craft room last this last winter so those videos are in there yeah I've made 205 videos this will be 206 and that includes shorts so that's that's pretty cool um, they are what they are I know I could probably delete some things and I'll, I will eventually figure it out or not so it's what I like doing and um, Lord willing, I can continue and grow. So anyways, yeah, if you like all the content, then tell people about it. So I'm going to switch the camera back around and get back to the video. Okay, so um, yeah, she was plucking at a tomato. So I may have to net these while they turn because they're going to start getting sweet, smelling at least. Um, and I need these tomatoes for my... <laughs> my sauce and my salsa oops have one back there that's turning but yeah i need to pull this plant this squash plant put it in a bag yeah it's loaded aphids loaded i mean it actually looks wet um the ground looks wet and that's from aphid uh droppings i don't know how else to say it but yeah this plant is loaded the ground does yeah it looks wet it did get watered but so i'm going to go in and put some long sleeves on probably and then grab some trash bags and then i'm going to neem oil spray this whole thing because of the aphids and then i'm also going to switch the uh goodness sakes <laughs> 
I'm going to switch the watering system over to a single tube all the way down the middle with spray emitters. Um, these things do get plugged up. Um, as you can see, the chickens have made them squirrely. Um, looks like there's another volunteer potato. Oh, and you know the potato plant that was over here? Sorry, I'm squirreling really bad, but the potato plant that was in here, it had one potato. <laughs> I was so bummed. But um, here's the tomatoes. So I know I just did a tour, so I'm not going to show that much. But when tomatoes start turning, they kind of turn really fast. So I'm getting ready for that. Uh, I'm still going to leave the sunflower because the birds and the pollinators really like it. I do have some... Oh, I need to go get that netting right now. Actually, I have it right here. Um, is I'm going to put some kale in here. If the kale didn't die. I'm going to put the kale in here. And then I'm going to drape some netting over these. So, yeah, the birds are just eating them. Or the chickens are getting in through there. And they're coming around the backside. So I'm going to have to prop something up there. But, yeah, it's a lot of work this morning. I'm going to go check on my seedlings. And if I kill them this time, then I'm just buying starts. That's all there is to that. So, um, oh, it looks like there's one more little squash right there. I can harvest that one. We haven't tried any yet. But, um, yeah, there's bees in there I'm going to have to contend with. Honeybees and wasp. I don't mind the honeybees, but the wasp, they're just cranky. So, yep, I'm going to go get some long sleeves on and grab some trash bags. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I thought I would go ahead and set a camera up for this. <laughs> Mind you, I am not dressed for video per se. I have loungy pants on. I have my farmer's sleeves on. I think they're knockoff from Farmer's Defense, but um, my arms react weird to the plants with the prickly stuff on it. So anyways, so I'm just pulling them, getting them in a bag, and then there's a lot of debris on the ground. So I'm going to spray the neem oil um, all over the beds and all over the ground. So, and then that'll give the beds time to, well, I'm not going to spray them yet because I'm going to work on the drip too. So I'm going to get all the drip pulled and I'll stop and show you as I go, but... Okay, so what I've done so far is I cleaned out the bed, uh, trying to avoid the wasp. They're eating the aphids off the squash plant, but as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, there's a bird on the sunflower plant. So that's why I'm leaving the sunflowers, even though they have aphids themselves. Yeah, the birds like them. See, there was two or three birds in there since I went away. So I have some drip tubing that... I think I bought the wrong size. It's a little small. So I'm hoping the tube itself will fit. I think it's just the diameter on like how thick the tube walls are on how much water goes through. So I'm hoping it works because that's what I have. Um, because I want to get this bed <laughs> prepped and the neem oil setting in the, um, in the soil and all the way around it. Um, I'll probably spray the celery plants up front. I'm leaving the volunteer potato because why not? Even if I get one potato from it, it'll be a free, free potato. So um, I need to figure out how to get my chickens out of the tomatoes because they're, they're going to decimate them. So, But anyways, I just have some drip supply tubing and yep, I'm just going to try to think it through the best I can and go from there. So this bed right here is going to be um, actually carrots and beets. And um, I try to sow by the signs. I'm learning how to do that. Kind of like what's in the Farmer's Almanac, but more tried and true from uh, people who've 
you know, lived in the mountains and done it for generations. So, um, rather than a GPS and such. So, anyways, I follow a gal. Her name's Shaolin. She's on the Appalachian Homestead on Instagram. And she, they have a website. And they have a YouTube channel. And they put out a monthly e-magazine for their subscribers. And in that includes planting for the signs. So, doing for September, I can't plant anything until the 27th. So, that's why I'm getting this bed ready. I'm going to let it sit for a day or two. And then I will plant carrots and beets. Well, I need to get some soil because the soil dropped pretty good. I am going to put some amendment in there. And then I'm going to top off the soil. So, whether I do that with compost or actual soil, I don't know that it'll give me a couple days to figure that out so anyways that's where i'm at Okay, um, the tubing was too small, um, so what I'm going to do is, I, that's why I don't tear anything apart <laughs> until the previous thing is done, is I went ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and use that anyways. Um, I'm hoping that it'll last through till it rains, and then the rains will water stuff, so, and then um, I can always supplement water. I did add back in the third line. I don't have any more of that. So it's going to have to it's going to have to do. I started to lay it out and then realized that I'm going to spray. So I don't want to spray on the line. It wouldn't matter, but sometimes oils and plastic, I don't want it to melt the plastic especially with the R coming into heat. Well, remaining in 100 degree weather. I think it's supposed to be 102 on Saturday. Like I said, I'm over it. But, um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this bed sprayed. I might just get it watered in real quick. Um, and then I'm going to spray it. Um, spray all the way around. And then I need to get another one of these clamps for this end. So that I can cover it to protect it from the chickens when I do. Uh, but the pipe's right there. And I think the other little... Um, I just use plumbers like pipe clamps I use them for everything let's see if there's one over here without getting stung oh yeah there's one right here so I just need to find one more there's one on a bed somewhere that I can use probably take one of these you know just to use it because I'm gonna get this bed planted first so excuse the shadow so yeah I'm gonna get this sprayed in or watered in and then I'm gonna get it sprayed and then I'm going to get some kale planted down there and get the netting put on it and get this video wrapped up. <laughs> and in case you're wondering why I don't do like full length is because, or just regular speed is because sometimes I have a lot of thought process that goes in or troubleshooting. And sometimes that can be a few minutes. So you don't want to be sitting there staring at me for a few minutes thinking something or overthinking something, but yeah, even the chickens are back in there. Stinkers. I mean, I like them in there, but I don't. <laughs> so, um, and who knows what the wind was doing with the, my bandana and all that. But I think another thing I'm going to do today, um, which I won't show, but I'm going to harvest some chives because I'm out in the house. I'm going to harvest some parsley. Um, I'm not out. I ended up buying store-bought while I was in the process of getting a new one. Um, but I think I'm going to cut all of that pretty much back down to there's some new growth so I'm going to cut all of that get some sage on the dehydrator cut back all this old growth um, get some time there's not much down there but I'm going to get some of that on the dehydrator too but lots of chives because I'm really out and some marjoram and I think some oregano and I might have some rosemary so I might I just might cut a little bit of everything get them on the dehydrator and I'm also going to uh, do dehydrated uh, hash browns. Potatoes, I just need to parboil them, but I'm not sure I'm going to have time to do that today because um, 
our little puppy Ray has her first little vet appointment here. So that's this afternoon. And then we have, well, we have lunch and then we have our appointment. So anyways, I'm going to get after it, guys. And there goes Gene right now. He's out uh, watering the, putting water on the bulls in the corral. They keep getting out. So <laughs> we call it bull jail. So I think there's four in there now because they keep getting out of where they're supposed to be. So he's out there checking on the water. But, all right. Real quick before I set you up on tie lats, this is the, uh, excuse the shadow, see if I can do this a little bit better, Captain Jack's neem oil. So I'm going to spray that on the dirt and all around the soil and then on the plants that are in that bed. So. And before anybody asks or says anything, <laughs> um, is that... I probably shouldn't be doing that now, spraying the neem oil because of the honeybees. But all I did was spray the rocks and I did spray the dirt um, and the, the celery and the potato plants. And if there was any overspray, I was trying to be really careful to make sure there weren't any honeybees in the area. So it's not like I'm spraying a whole plant that's covered in blossoms and then covered in honeybees like the zucchini plant i wouldn't go spray that right now because it's covered in honeybees tomatoes um the melons the beans anything that has honeybees on it right now or lots of them like the hundreds i i'm not going to spray so the ground and the dirt or the soil yes so and then i did spray um those four Brussels sprouts because they get aphids really bad. So now I'm going to go ahead and go get the kale and carefully try to get in there without breaking my neck, especially on camera or ruining everything I did to keep the chickens out. <laughs> so, and so I'm just going to go ahead and put my biotone fertilizer and my spade and the plants in there and then I'll go from there. Hey, I already see a pretty big um, root growing north to south, which tells me it's coming from the sage plant. So I'm going to sever it right now. There's actually two of them. And then I had to give the kale a drink of water. I did buy starts just from Home Depot. Um, and yes, I said I was going to plant on the 27th, but anyways, I'm planting today because I have them. <laughs> I want to do a huge planting on Friday morning. Um, so we'll just see, see if those turn out or not. That'll kind of be a telltale sell for sure, or telltale sign for sure. But um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put you on hyperlapse and get going. Okay, I went ahead and got them planted. The reason why I'm doing it now is, like I said, with the heat, they're they're starting to dry out in their little tiny nursery containers. But I use the uh, Biotone sort of fertilizer. I cannot buy that anywhere in my area, so I ordered this four-pound bag off of the GardenAnswer.com. They carry the four-pound bags of the Espoma products. So there goes Jean back in again. <laughs> So um, this soil is pretty moist, but I'm going to go ahead and give them a little bit of water. There's tons of worms in this bed. This is one of the very first beds we put in, and we used a different nursery's uh, soil. So it's still doing really good. Um, I think I amended it in the spring, so um, I'm just using the Biotone, Biotone starter fertilizer and calling it good. So, and we don't... Uh, freeze hard enough to kill these um, I could mulch but I we have such strong winds that the mulch would just blow the straw mulch just blows everywhere and is just a mess so I just don't mess with it so anyways I'm gonna get my mess cleaned up guys and my phone's starting to heat up so I will show you some things as I get them done and get my phone out of the sun morning guys it is a couple days later uh, between the 
animals vets appointments and Gina and I had an anniversary and then I went and did a monthly grocery shop yesterday a little bit early only because of uh, by the time this video comes out oh it'll be on Monday but uh, the first there's supposed to be a probability of some strike or whatever anyways I'm just taking extra precautions we needed it anyways because I was doing the pantry challenge but anyway so I just went and did a monthly grocery haul a few days early and um so yeah today I'm going to get the seeds sown I just need to find something to cover these beds because um in, early on in the video you saw that I transplanted kale look what the birds did <laughs> The birds ate the tops anyways, and something keeps uprooting one of them uh, and off the, all the Brussels sprouts. So I hope, I hope they recover. I'm about ready to give up on the fall garden, but I'm not going to. I still didn't get, uh, oh goodness sakes, the chickens. Oh, because I need to get the herbs all harvested so I can get those on the dehydrator. I am doing that today for sure. But, um, yeah, I'm going to get the drip line straightened out and staked down or tacked down. Get the seeds sown. Get them watered in. And then, um, today I'm going to work while Gene's at work. Because uh, I I don't do anything on the goat structure without him. Because I don't run the power saw. But, uh, I'm going to work on the north side of the greenhouse getting the rain gutter put on so and then i will probably have to paint some boards which is fine i just need to change my clothes for that but uh get some boards painted for that i'm going to assess it first to see if that top edge over there right over there i uh, can have the trim board with the rain gutter or the drip edge and then the rain gutter is going to cover it but gene still thinks it'll look nice so he doesn't want it to look unfinished uh when it is all finished so, anyways, uh, that's what I'm doing this morning. I am going to work on a little a little transplant right now, but I'm going to make a, sh a little short for that. But anyways, I just wanted to come back on here <laughs> and show you a few things. This is going to be a little bit longer video. I'll show you what I'm planting in here. I see that a mouse has created a hole right there. So, I'm going to take care of that. But anyways, yeah, man, get after it. I'll show you a little bit. Okay, I went and got the other hoop put on down there. And I found some, uh, it's frost-free, but I think it'll it'll be fine. It'll let light in, and it'll keep the chickens out, hopefully. But um, I ended up taking out the sunflowers, uh, two reasons. One is it did have aphids on it. Um, and then two, I couldn't have did the, the cover. Um without going around it and I didn't want to do that so anyways and I don't think this bed is deep enough for carrots but it is for beets so I think I'm just going to do 12 feet so times three I'm going to do three rows maybe four rows I'll see how many seeds I have but I might get 36 to 48 feet of uh well it's three times 12 36 square feet and then times four you know what I mean because I'm doing four rows anyways that's what I'm doing <laughs> so I will show you the seeds that I'm going to use hold on okay see if I can do this one-handed here so I have the gourmet blend which has all those in there it is let's see I'm going to set it down okay let's show this again <laughs> it's by botanical interest and let's see days to emerge is 5 to 21 seed depth half inch then uh, seed spacing one seed every four inches row spacing 12 inches days to maturity 65 days so what I'm gonna do is because these are every six inches is I'm gonna do I'm gonna stagger I'm gonna do like in the middle on the drip you know I'm gonna do that probably on each side and then just see what we end up with uh, because I want to be able to pickle beets. I'm out of pickled beets. So I had two jars left and they ended up turning turning bad. So they, they lasted the two years. I know it's recommended according to 
government standards to do every 12 months but in the canning world and the real world it's you can you can do it as long as until they go bad so for me that's usually about the two year mark but anyways um i think this will if i have enough seeds then this will be plenty i might do half the bed first you know like this half and then see what i got for the other half and then i can always do something else down there so i'm gonna give it a go oh and i'm gonna use the biotone starter fertilizer i'm gonna just sprinkle it over the whole area and then I'll just make a little, I'm not sure if I'm going to make a trench or if I'm just going to hand seed them. You know, just plop them in there a half inch down because the seeds are pretty big. I'll show you what they are. Oh, and the other seeds I'm using are the, gosh, the glare is horrible. Bull, uh, Bull's Blood Beet. It's all the way red, all the way around. These are about the same day, 7 to 10 days to sprout. Row spacing 12 inches, plant spacing 4 to 8 inches, planting depth 01 inch. So yeah, these can, that's about what I do anyways. You basically do double the size of the seed. So I'm going to get one out and show you. So that's what they look like. So I'm going to go ahead and get these planted and then get this video wrapped up and maybe get started on another one because I've got lots of projects today. So Okay, I had enough seeds to heavily sow two rows on each side of the drip line and uh, now I'm just going to go get uh, some broccoli although those aren't root crops I wanted root crops in this section I might do the short carrots in here because I think the short carrots would be okay uh, no I don't think they will either because they still need I think four to six inches and I don't think there's four to six inches to uh for the carrots to push through on the soil it'd be too hard clay so they like loose soil so um well i'll just finish doing beets i'll just use what beets i have and do them sparingly okay i have it on there it's not very pretty but <laughs> i may go get some uh, those tomato clips and kind of just prong them to the top to at least someone hold them in place I don't want to set it down on the dirt because I think the chickens would get in there anyways. So, anyways, and if the wind blows it off, yeah, I'll figure it out. But, um, yeah, I, I'm hoping that'll do the trick. And you can still see through. See, you can still see through that pretty good. So, and then I'll, I'm going to have the water come on every day. Uh, the tomatoes may not like it. So, we'll see. Because I know how I am about, did I do that today or did I, did it, did I do it yesterday? <laughs> so, anyways, uh, or I'll just do it every other day like I'm doing right now. And then I'll just water these in between. I need to come out and make sure these stay moist until they germinate anyways. So, I'll be out here probably every couple hours giving it a good spritz. I might have to peel that back, but... Anyways, guys, I'm going to get after some other projects, but I'll save that for another video. Um, if you've stuck around that long, or this long, that's been awesome. I appreciate it. So, anyways, remember to always be kind, and do what makes you happy. Bye, guys. Thanks.